my friends. It's Peggy from prettypapercards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here with my little baby Ellie, my little Yorkshire Terrier, and we are here on a hot afternoon in San Diego County, California, and we are happy to have you join us today. We're gonna have a great time. We're gonna do a catalog walkthrough with the new August to December 2020 Stampin' Up! mini catalog, and it's gonna be fun. Um, I see there are two people already. Good to see you. I hope we're, you're, if you have a new catalog, why don't you get it out? Because we're gonna have, we're gonna go through, hey Anthony, we're gonna go through the catalog. And so I'd love to have you go through the catalog with me. I guess Ellie is anxious to get down. Um, I wanted to show you though, I made her a bow. And can anybody guess what bow this is? Um, it's in our holiday catalog. Let me see if I can get a good view of it. There you go. That is Ellie's bow for today. Do you know what it's from? Hey, Linda, good to see you. Um, I'll give you a little time to figure it out, but she is dressed in a hol holiday catalog bow. And it's not super, uh, super Christmassy. It's just actually, it's stamped in Mill and Mom bow. It's just a little pink today. So I'm gonna put Ellie down. Hey, Kim, thank you. Thank you, Anthony. Yet yeah, I wanna hear if some of you can guess um, what, that's, what set that her bow is from. And today we are gonna walk through this catalog. I have been showing you the front of it for weeks. I've been demonstrating things for weeks. And finally now we can actually open the catalog and I'm so thrilled that we can open it and go through it together. Um, hey, Diane, good to see you. Okay, so are you ready? All right. We're just gonna, this is what we're gonna do. The whole time we're gonna have a lot of fun. So let's, let's get ourselves going here. Let's see if there it is. There is the new catalog. I'm just gonna turn that up a little bit. Okay, so if you have the catalog, get it in front of you so we can go through it together. We're gonna walk through, hey Christy. This is a new time for us, for me, and I'm thankful that you've popped on. I hope that you'll, um, Remember this time, I think it's a better time, so we're gonna try this for a while, in addition to the Friday. Um, it is a wonderful catalog, Anthony, I agree. So let's start, let's open this baby. And so we're gonna open it first, we're gonna just look through the pages. This is a welcome page by the founder, Shelly Gardner, and then they're gonna focus first on kits different kits in the catalog. And so we'll go through those briefly. Here's a neat kit that um, is called the Joy of Sharing Kit. And this you can use for regular Christmas cards or holiday cards, but you can also insert photos, which is I think is pretty neat. Okay, great, Linda, you've got your catalog. So I'm on page four. So if you didn't know that you can insert photos into those cards that is a very neat kit and you get 15 traditional or photo cards and it comes with the stamp set so that and it comes with the gold insides and everything then we have the tag buffet now the tag buffet is um, everything you need to make tags the stamp set is separate but if you need a lot of tags this is the way to go the tag buffet all right, we're flipping kind of quickly through these. This is the Christmas countdown. Now this is a, a returning thing, which I do, normally am not gonna focus too much on, but this one, I think I'm going to be sending this to my niece and nephew because it's a neat advent calendar. If you didn't notice, you can also use it kind of for business right here, um, or jewel, jewelry, I think that's kind of neat. So that is a returning favorite. The most wonderful time. This is um, a product medley, which includes lots of goodies. And it includes everything, paper, 
um, stamp set, everything you need to create. Let me see how many cards here. Um, I thought it 12, mm, I don't know, a lot of 48 sheets of paper. Oh my gosh, you just get tons of stuff there. That is a neat one. So the first suite in the catalog. Now I've got inside my catalog cards that I've made from items that I've purchased. But this catalog is so packed with so much that I couldn't purchase everything. And this is one suite I wanted to get, but I did not. So if you have it, let us know that you have this suite. Um, I think it's fabulous. I really can't wait to get it because let's pull it back over here to this side and see what is a part of this suite. You can get the suite as a whole, but you can also get the items separately. It has some beautiful heartwarming hugs designer series paper. It has two stamp sets. That's the thing about a suite is that this is a mega suite. I think the mega suites have two stamp sets. But the darling part of this suite is, I'm gonna try to get it up here to show you, these adorable mini coffee cups like you would get at your regular coffee store and the cardboard holder and the stamp set and die set, the warm hugs bundle, create all the things you need, tags and wrappers to go around that. Very cute. Also embossing folders, two kinds of ribbon, a little star, um, things to hang around. And now that we've seen that, let's go back and look at the page. Look at how they've used that on food gifts. Here is how they've done it on a coffee cup. They've even put a poinsettia on top of that. It's in your basket, Anthony. Okay, great. Well, I say get that basket because um, it is so cute. I just can't wait to, to get it myself. And here are some here they've broken down the stamp set for you and they show you the dies. The, it's called the warm wrap dies. And here is a little uh, cardboard, the little cardboard hold um, carrier filled at the way they've done it. They've wrapped the cups in red there, very cute. And here's the other stamp set. And this is kind of just a good, these make, the, make some tags for the cups but or your baked goods. But these are some beautiful, sentiments for standard Christmas cards. So you could get this entire suite and you would be completely set. Now we're gonna move over to some things that I have purchased. This is the gift wrap bundle. And if you didn't guess, this is where Ellie's bow came from that I showed you in the beginning. This set includes the uh, gift bow builder punch and the gift wrapped stamp set and I love this set. I think on one of my Facebook lives we made a project but I think I sent every all the cards to some of you. So I made a new card for you today to show you what you can do with this set. Here is a bow that was punched out. It's stamped in a pretty peacock. I'm going to try to tell you the things that I've used and punched out easy peasy. We love punches. And then behind here, I've used some, now I'm gonna cheat because I wrote it on the back because I don't know all my names. Basket Weave Metallic Combo Pack Copper Ribbon. It is gorgeous and I've put a little of that behind. And then this, I've tied, so you notice that the Bow Builder Punch has a little tag that it punches out. And then the stamp set has some cute little images for the tag and I put stars on there in Melon Mambo and tied that on. Now that is some ribbon from our annual catalog. It's the Forever Greenery Gold Trim, which I think we're going to be using a lot of during the holidays. And I've um, em dry embossed that in uh, an or the ornate floral embossing folder. And I got the idea for this card. It's pretty much cased from the catalog on page 12. Do you see how they made an envelope there? Isn't that cute? And they embossed the envelope with a snowflake embossing folder. And then they tied it, well, kind of put a, you know, a bow decoration on it. And it looks like the card is all stamped with bows behind. Isn't that just cute? 
I really like that. So I wanted to show you. This is, if you saw on my blog today, this is one of my favorite things on my in the catalog this year. Is this this set in the in the? I'm calling it the holiday mini, just so we know what we're talking about. I hope you don't mind. Then another one of my favorites right here, the Dove of Hope bundle. Love, love, love. And here's a card that I made um, just the other day to show you this beautiful dove and her dyes, her or his or its beautiful dyes. These are the um, detailed dove dyes and they have dyes that will cut out the stamped dove and wings and also these two dyes right here are what I used that are so intricate. And you know what? I forgot to use the tail. Well, there's an additional tail, I guess. I don't know. But for this, she already ha he already has a tail. But um, anyway, I just think that is so beautiful. And I have put this on top of some of our beautiful plush poinsettia paper, which I'm gonna show you in a bit. It comes with a poinsettia bundle. Yes, very beautiful. And we've, I've added a little necklace. That's why I'm calling her a her, I think, is because I've added a necklace using these beaded pearls, which are also part of the poinsettia suite. And here's some more of that beautiful um, gold trim that I talked about that's in the Forever Greenery um, suite in the annual catalog. So I really can't get good enough light to show you the beauty of this. I have a, pe a piece of pretty peacock paper behind. But this dove is gorgeous. Get the dies, if nothing else. The stamp set is also beautiful, but get the dies. Now I have another card made from this set, and I think I've demonstrated this too, but I wanted to show it to you again. This is the stamp set, and it has some great sentiments. Uh, Peace on Earth is the one I've used here. Peace, love, and joy, adorable. And so I've added, I stamped the dove and cut it out using the dies, and then I watercolored in, or I think I used Stampin' Blends. And then this is a wreath from the Arranger wreath set in the annual catalog. Um, die cut with those dies out of rainbow glimmer paper. But isn't that just a pretty uh, holiday card? And this is one, like I said, I think I did a Facebook Live on this where it opens up like that. It's a fun card, so go back and check that out. But these are samples for you of this beautiful, beautiful um, Dove of Hope bundle. And there is the standard stamp and cut and emboss machine. I've ordered mine. The demonstrators could order starting yesterday. And I ordered it yesterday and it's supposed to come tomorrow. So watch for my Friday live because we're gonna use that machine. Okay, here is the beautiful poinsettia place suite. It just is magnificent. Too much in here to even barely go over in one sitting. I've got a couple of samples for you. Here is one using the poinsettias cut out of dies. I'm not gonna take a long time for this. Um, I think I've posted them and I might have, I think I've done another Facebook Live on these also, but this is what these dies do. They are just magnificent. Here's one I did early on using the paper. And I just wanted to remind you of the pieces that are in this gorgeous suite. So let's take a look at the paper. I'll pull it out in case you haven't received it yet or gotten it. I'm gonna show you this beautiful paper. Um, it is just spectacular and the dies cut some of these images. It, it's so, so pretty. It even has a wood look. I love this berry one, just gorgeous. And it all goes with the poinsettia suite. And then the paper that I was showing you a few minutes ago was the, I've got them all here to my, right here at my desk. And I wanted to show them to you, the plush poinsettia vellum. And look at that, it's 
kind of what you might call flocked on vellum, and those are poinsettias. That's how we say it here in California, poinsettia. Some people say poinsettia or all different ways, but that's the way I say it. So here's a leaf pattern with some berries, and you get two of each. And then here is the one I used on uh, my dove card, and it is just kind of an ornate pattern. And I just love it. And so when you put a color of cardstock behind it, it really picks up that color. Um, this, it, so it's called points, plush poinsettia paper. And I, you'll, you'll want that for sure. It's really interesting and different. I showed you the gems, the little uh, pearl jewels that I used on my dove. Here's the stamp set. Super versatile. You can do the completely full poinsettia or the three different parts and stamp and cut them with the dies or you can just cut paper with the dies and here are the dies they're amazing when i did my other facebook live i talked about the veining that is so intricate here and then there's also a ribbon which i have the real red sheer ribbon and it ties beautifully i used that on one of the cards i showed you beautiful beautiful set and here's just a little bit of a close-up of it okay more of the catalog now now we're getting into some things that I haven't ordered but if you have tell me this is the beautiful peaceful nativity bundle and this is a traditional re religious stamp set and die set and I love the die set because it creates an entire manger with the little animals and the palm trees I think that's really neat and here we have the Peace and Joy Bundle. This I had my eye on, but I just recently got the dies, not the stamp set, and I want to show you how the dies work because I didn't even understand until I got them. Here they are, and they it's the three words, joy, peace, and bright. And each word has three parts. So let's look at this is peace. Okay, so here's the first piece of peace. <laughs> and it's like this. Let me see. Let me get it up there for you. And the second one is like this. It goes over this one. They all go over the others. And then this is a large one that goes over that to make a three-piece word and I'll show you from the samples how it works. I had to put them here in a little envelope. So here is peace. This is what that first one cuts out. Let me put it on the envelope so you can really see it. It's a very thin and delicate letters. Then it cut then the second one cuts out this I used white, and the third one cuts out kind of a bubble around the piece. So when you put them all together, here's what it looks like. I mean, I think it's amazing. I really am bowled over by what this does. Isn't that neat? And you can use the two without the big bubble in the back. You could just use the two like that. Isn't that neat? And I did put together Joy. It was it's the smallest one, so I put that one together. And that's what it looks like all together. Wouldn't that be just, it's gonna be super cute. Yes, the font, fun, I, if you're talking about this one, Anthony. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with these. Um, I know I am, and I, now the stamp set, I see, um, you can also stamp the words, but personally, I think I'm gonna be pretty satisfied just with the dies. Um, but if you if you get the whole stamp set, show show me, send me a picture. I love it when you send me pictures, or send me a card. I love it when you send me cards. Okay, here we're on to the Christmas Gleaming Variety Bundle. This is a holdover from last year, so I'm not going to focus on it. Um, and here we're getting into ones I really didn't get any of these. There are just too many for for one person's budget. Here's the fireplace trimming set which is very adorable. The dies have all the little trimmings and things you need to put on the mantle, very cute. This is the sweetest time bundle. 
And this one has candles and candy canes. Um, I like the font and I like that sentiment, sweetest season. We're on page 21, if you're following. Christy, thank you. Yes, the sample of the um, the love, joy, the peace, joy, and, and uh, bright is really what makes it, isn't it? You have to see that sample. Here is the tree angle um, set, and that coordinates with the stitch triangles. And also on this page is the beautiful gold, red and gold foil sheets. I did get some of those. Now on this side, some of you will, will really be liking this. I did not get the gnomes, but my friend Robin did, and she is going to town with these little gnomes. They are so cute, gnome for the holidays. She stacked three on top of each other and on a card, and oh boy, were they super cute. Um, then down below we have a Santa, and there's some spilled milk, spilled milk and cook. No, it's the melted snowman. Oh, Frosty's first hot cocoa turned out to be his last. I hadn't really looked at that. How hysterical. I wouldn't send that to a child. Okay, let's go on to page 24. This is trimming the town suite. And again, I didn't get anything from this suite, but I think it's adorable because you can make it's one with all the little houses. And I really like that. Don't we all like all the little houses? So you get the houses, the dyes, the, there's a church in there, I think. Very cute, paper, ribbon, just adorable. Coming home bundle. Um, there are more houses. There's this cute little way you can put these boxes together, which I haven't figured out yet. You love the tree angle set? Anthony, yes, it is very modern. It is a very modern set. I'll just show that. It is modern. Um, my upline, Mary Fish, I think she really likes this. Um, it's a bit modern for me to actually use. I like seeing it and I like getting those cards, but I'm too, I'm a little bit too kind of, I like the curls and stuff. Now here is the Mary Moose bundle. Super cute. This is another returning favorite. But you might notice how they did this adorable little um, banner thing there. Very cute on page 27. The moose is adorable. The moose punch has been, you know, back ordered. I don't think it is right now, but it was last year. So they brought it back because it was so popular. Um, here is, ha okay, this is Yuletide Pasture. And Christy is on this call, and Christy and I were having... A, a laugh about this last creature. And she looked it up and discovered it's a yak. I've seen some some other people think that it's some kind of a long-haired cow. But anyway, it, it, it really looks like a, a yak. And he's got these ornaments hanging from his horns. So cute, <clears throat> absolutely adorable. We have some jingle bells. <coughs> I'm talking a lot again. Here is the Christmas Means Hope set. Christmas Means More. And if you notice, these are all sentiments from uh, Christmas plays or movies or songs. This is from The Grinch, this is from The Elf, this is from A Wonderful Life, and this one is from The Miracle on 34th Street. That's a real cute one. Okay, Wonder of the Season. Um, I didn't get this either, but it's you know, there's just so much that's so fabulous. Traditional, the colors are traditional. They have papers that are um, the newspaper and it's in red and black. This paper is gorgeous. Um, two different stamp sets, gems, beautiful ribbons, um, memories and more card pack. And then in case you didn't notice, and I think I'm gonna to have to get some of these. Let me fold it up so you can really see. This card and envelope set, white cards and matching envelopes trimmed with red, beautiful red design. And you get um, 20, 20 cards and 20 envelopes. I mean, all you need to do is just put something inside there and your card is completely made. Great bargain. Here is the Wishes and Wonder bundle, and it has about, it's all about the North Pole, and that um, 
reindeer is beautiful. Beautiful dye here for the reindeer. And a cute sleigh for Santa. Cherish the season bundle. And this is all about the bells, the jingle bells and jingle bell dies. Here we have Joyful Holiday, and it's all about holly, and it's paired with last year's Twall Tidings designer series paper, which we all loved. Now, here's one I have. This is for unto us, and I just love these sentiments. I have to tell you, I really do. Not only do I love the sentiments, but I love the fonts. Like this one, I love modern fonts. Um, Anthony said he liked the triangle set because it's it's geometric and and modern and I like modern fonts and I just love that. Here is the stamp set. It's called For Unto Us. Very beautiful. Lots of different fonts. And then on this same page is something that if you haven't gotten it, you need to. This I got in my second order, my second go round order. Um, this is the Evergreen Forest 3D embossing folder, and I've, I've already embossed for you a piece of brushed gold foil, which we'll come to shortly. Look at how spectacular that is. Isn't that just beautiful? If you haven't seen this, you'll want to. It's not that expensive. It's only $10, and I really think you're going to love it. I totally recommend that. Okay, the next page is the beautiful Snowflake Splendor Suite. There's a lot I have not gotten in this suite, but I did get these blue adhesive back gems. Really pretty. And Snowflake Splendor Ribbon, which is beautiful. And let me see if I can find it here because I love this. Balmy Blue Brushed Metallic um, cardstock. What do they call it? Balmy Blue Glimmer Paper, not Brushed Metallic. Of course, it's Glimmer Paper. Look at that sparkle. Isn't that beautiful? I know there were... Yes, the embossed gold foil is stunning, Anthony. I agree. I know there were a lot of you that got the snowflake, the whole snowflake suite, and I think it, it really is totally worth it. It is beautiful. You've got um, another embossing folder, a snowflake embossing folder, beautiful snowflake dies and stamps and paper. And here's a, a more close-up of the snowflake wishes set. It, it's out of control, beautiful. Then here's the snow wonder, snow wonder bundle. And that's very cute with a little s snowman. He didn't melt like that other one said. <laughs> Here is the ornamental envelopes bundle. Now I, I've shown a little bit of that this on my lives and on my um, blog. I did not get the stamp set, but I did get the envelope dies. Now they also cut the ornaments in the stamp set and I may go back and get the stamp set, but uh, what I really wanted were these beautiful dies that trim envelopes. This can trim your envelope flap. This can trim your envelope flap. This can trim it. But the biggest thing is these envelope dies. And this is one I made, a card I made that I featured. I showed it on my blog this morning, and we'll talk about this set shortly. But I used the plaid paper, and I've used one envelope die to do that at that scalloped edging and another one cuts the liner and gives the liner a scalloped edging isn't that just neat it's such a nice thing to line your envelopes i don't know that i would do it for 50 or 100 you know for a christmas bunch or something unless i had a ton of time but for an ind especially for an individual like a birthday card or something special i think this is just beautiful so that is the ornamental envelopes bundle. And I recommend actually just getting these dies and keeping them even after they're retired because I still use, there was a, a bunch, an envelope die set years ago and I kept that and still used it for my envelopes. Here is the Light Me Home, kind of a, almost a Tom and K Thomas Kincaid look stamp set. 
and I did not get that one, but one thing I wanted to show you is this neat card display. We're on page 41 if you have your catalog in front of you. Hey, Patricia. This is a very neat card display, and I've gotten it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch you to, because, let me see if I can go to the right direction. Can you see it back there? There it is. I've got it on a little bookcase that I have in, in, my, in the back of my room. And I have my cards all clipped to it. It comes with these really pretty little gold, uh, gold clips and you clip on to the card display. It's fairly, it's fairly large. You can see that it's, it fills that whole first shelf there. But I love it because I can display my cards and I think you will really like it too. And sometimes they offer these things. When they do, I try to scoop them up because it's kind of a once in a, once ever kind of a deal that they offer these, some fun little things like that. So I really recommend that you, if you want it, grab it up. And here it is a little more close up on page 41 of the catalog. And they show you how, it's, how they clipped cards on it. Hey, Robin. Robin's working and watching at the same time. We always like that. Okay, next page is Feels Like Frost Designer Series Paper, a returning favorite warm and toasty stamp, stamp set. The Pines, In the Pines Bundle. I did not get this, but it looks beautiful. If you love trees, that is gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. And here they put the moose, I think, on front, maybe, or one of the deer beautiful in the pines bundle now here is the gilded autumn set and i do have this set and i've you've seen it i've used i've used it here is um, the stamp set and here are the dies the autumn essential dies and that is this is the set i used to make this card that um, i showed you the envelope to shortly a few, few minutes ago that's the sentiment from the um, this stamp set, the Autumn Greetings. And these are some of the wheat, I, I call them. Very neat. And I have another card. I thought I had another card. Yes, here is another card. I did this on a Facebook Live. And this is what the little pumpkin dies look like. This is a neat set. It's my, it really is my favorite of the, of the fall sets. And on the same, uh, in the same suite, part of the suite is on page 45, and that's where you find this brush metallic paper, whoops, that I used for the trees. That's where you find that, and it's three different papers. It's uh, copper, bronze, and gold, and they're brushed, and you get two sheets of each. And then it comes, with the Gilded Autumn Designer Series paper, which I just got the other day. And look at this, it has a lot of the metallics in it. Isn't that pretty? Let's look at some of the backs. So one side is metallic and one side, woo, look at that one. I haven't even had a chance to play with it. And here's a pretty hound's tooth on the back. Look at those gilded pumpkins. Beautiful paper. That is Gilded Autumn's Specialty Designer Series paper. And um, there's just so much, again, with this suite. And then here are the two ribbons. You saw me use the one earlier. One is a mitt macaron basket weave and the other one is a copper. Those are just beautiful. There's so much, so much in this entire, entire catalog beautiful autumn bundle. Here's the gather together bundle. This is the repeat from last year, returning favorite. The leaves are very neat. Those dies are neat leaf dies. Um, here we have the autumn goodness bundle that I'm thinking of getting very, very soon to, uh, as an addition. This has a neat wheelbarrow and a fence in the dies. Very fun. Yes, the papers need to hop into your basket, Anthony, I agree. This is another fun one for fall. Uh, Love of Leaves, they've got a lot of fall sets for us this year. And this is very neat. I know some people who've gotten this and they really love it too. Neat dies of more leaves. 
and this is the one let's see this is the one I got that I showed you what, what was I showing you gilded autumn oh that was different I was making a mistake boo-boo this is the one I got autumn greetings you can't trust me you just can't I'm doing my best so these were the dies and they had also some uh, lower uh, on the bottom of the of the picture here I don't know if you can see and I have I use these actually on this card these trim dies sorry about that I haven't been I was I'm so excited I'm not paying any attention what can I say um, here is a beautiful set called life is beautiful and then I, this is one of those uh, sets for all around all year it's a beautiful tree um, that you can stamp for all seasons it has a cute little um, bird's nest in there and the sentiments thinking of you hello and life is beautiful that's a good all-around stamp set that is a million dollar winner set designed by uh, Leanne Greff and it's a distinctive set now we're into Halloween and there is a lot here this year lots of gorgeous colors I'm personally not really into Halloween but if you if you are this is this is the year for you look at this neat embossing folder the ribbon i don't even have the ribbon but i'm anxious to get it metallic mesh black glimmer paper iridescent pearls oh my gosh let's go and see over here very neat another neat stamp and die set look at those labels that it makes and the the ornate looking bats and a spider Ooh, spider and then another set called the ghoulish goodies this is a good one for um, treats and a fun rectangular tins. I haven't gotten any of those, but they look fun. I know we're going a little long today, but that's because this is our walkthrough. And this one, I think I've showed you a lot of parts of it, but I've never been able to open the catalog with you. It's the Plaid Tidings Suite, and I love this suite. Um, so much to love. And number one, the Plaid Paper. Plaid Tidings Paper, oh my gosh. Pre-cut six by six. Let's go over on this side. This is an absolute must have. I said on my blog today, and I did, I bought three packs of this. There's a fabulous one right there. So I've got enough to keep me going for the, um, for the foreseeable future because that paper is beautiful. And then here is the stamp set, Celebration Tidings which I didn't really think I'd get at first. It does have a little Halloween in it, and it has a cute little spider, um, but I, want, I got it as a bundle because of the dies, and I think you've seen me talk about these celebration dies. Fabulous, these are amazing. We are going to really, well I am, I think you would really use these dies. It does have what looks like, I think they're eyes. I think those are spider eyes. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they are. But I want to show you what this does. This is what the die does. It cuts this piece, this light blue piece. I think that's a balmy blue. And this is one of the stamps. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I combined it with the other autumn set, but this is some of the plaid paper. I just love these dies. They can do so much. And here is another card I made from that. I think it was like the always grateful or something set. But here I've taken one of those dies that I was just talking about and I've cut it in half and just the half comes down. You can do a lot with these dies and that's why I really wanted to emphasize these. Um, ce celebration label dies, 15 dies, really neat. So guess what, we've come to the end I think. There's a close up of the same ones and that you can make these cute little packets for cookies and stuff. I haven't, I don't think there's anything else I've gotten here. There's a cute flight of fancy um, turnovers, very cute, very cute ornaments and stuff, gusseted cellophane bags, everything essential bundle, lots of neat stuff. Oh, the have a hoot bundle. I was, I was going to be done before I should have been done. I didn't get this, but it's absolutely adorable. Look at those little owls. Owl I want for Christmas is you. Very, very cute. Um, the festive post, with, and it used, that uses the postage stamp punch. This I really do like. I, 
I might end up getting this. It goes with our jar from the annual catalog. Banner year bundle, another banner punch, which we can use. Um, this is a cute one that does edges, the festive corners. If you got any of these, just post them on um, post them on the on my Facebook page, and um, show us what they look like. A menagerie mix-up. You can put all kinds of little animals together. Very cute. Now this one. I can't believe I thought I was done. Press on. I really want to get this because it goes with the one in the front. The, I should know the name if I want to get it right. Heartwarming hugs. This kind of goes along with it. And it's just an addition too, and I really think this is cute. Look at that sentiment, press on. Look for me to get this very soon. And here's the Freeze and Fun Bundle. Very cute little animals, kind of for grandchildren. And then the last one, the Little Treats Bundle. And this is very cute, I'm, I wanna get this too. This is an adorable little treat holder. So, it's still early. We, we get to use this all the way through to the end of December, so I'll probably be getting that. So there is your catalog walkthrough. I thank you for hanging on so long. It's been 41 minutes. I really appreciate you. I hope you've gotten some great ideas and found some things that you absolutely must have. Um, let me just come back to this one. So I wish you a fabulous week and pop on um, to my Facebook Live on Friday at 4 o'clock Pacific and I'll have my new stamp and cut and emboss machine and we're going to play. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.